So I have the formula in cell A1 to check if sheet 1 is blank to display nothing. Otherwise, I'd like to have an image, and then what image am I going to use? I want to look up, so VLOOKUP says to go find uh, a table and look up in the table. Look up whatever is in cell A2 of sheet 1, and I'm going to look that up in the badge list with the range of A2 to D, and I want the fourth column, and the fourth column is the one that displays the code for the badge, so whichever column number uh, has the, the badge image code, that's what you want to use for that number. And then I want to say false so that because the list is not alphabetized and so that it'll check the entire list. And that ends the VLOOKUP, but then for the image, I want to use the image code 3 because that means that it'll be the size of the actual image. So I go have that and if I click on the cell one time, and I come here to the bottom right hand corner, you'll notice that there's a small box. I can actually drag this box, hold down and pull across. If I drag and pull across, it's going to it doesn't look like it did anything, but it did. It copied the formula all the way across the cells. And then I'm going to take that square in the bottom right hand corner and I'm going to pull it down. And so if I double click on any cell, you'll notice it actually copied the formula. So I'm going to go up here to view. I'm going to view all formulas. And what I need to do is I need to edit all of these formulas for how I want it to display the badges. Now, the students are going to list on the first tab all the codes here in column A. But I don't want just the badges to be listed in column A on the display badges. So here in B1, I'm going to say I want this to be not A2, but A3. Don't forget you have to switch that in two places. So it'll put whatever is in A3. And then I'm going to switch this one to A4. And I'm going to switch this also, A4. And then A5. A5. A6. And then down here on the next row, this is where I'm going to put a 7. So that way, as students earn badges, the badges will display first in the first six columns, and then they'll go to the next row, and then they'll go to the next row to start building this grid. a 7, a 8, A9. So I'm just replacing these cells references to the ones that are in the column. So A10. And yes, there's an easier way to do this. This is keeping it simple for you. Uh, the reason I'm doing it this way is because you can actually decide where it is that you want the badges to show up. You don't have to do it in the same grid format that I'm doing. Okay, so I, I would do all of them. I'm going to go ahead and view all formulas. So I turn that off so you see it displays the badge. If I go over here to my badge list, I notice that I have, I'm going to take one of my codes and I'm going to, you know, the student hopefully would place that code into the next uh, cell here in column A on sheet 1. But if I go to display badges, you'll now notice that it displays that badge in the second spot. If I go back to sheet 1 and I put that code in A8, then that's going to appear here in B2 on the display badges. So depending on where the students put the code on the first tab is going to be where the badge displays on the grid.